Good day, Grade Tens. On our mission to look at the different trends across the periodic table, the next set that we're going to look at are the melting and boiling points. Right, so let's look at our definitions. What is a melting point? The melting point is a temperature at which a solid, such as ice, changes phase to a liquid at a standard atmospheric pressure. That's important because the pressure actually makes a difference as to which temperature this occurs at. But let's not worry about that now. Just if we're at normal standard atmospheric pressure, the melting point is a temperature at which the solid changes phase to a liquid. Boiling point. Boiling point is Again, if we're at standard atmospheric pr pressure, the temperature at which a liquid changes phase to a gas. So it's the temperature at which a liquid changes phase to a gas. So in this case for us, this is 0 degrees Celsius and 100 degrees Celsius if we're talking about water. Right, so now let's look at the phases of elements at room temperature. And this is quite interesting because what you can see here is that all the metals, all the metals, and the semi-metals and some of the non-metals are basically solid at room temperature. The only metal that is liquid at room temperature, which is very special, is mercury, which we use quite often. We used to use it quite a lot in our thermometers until they discovered that mercury was poisonous, and now we don't use it so much. And the other liquid at room temperature is bromine, which is interesting because it is a non-metal. Also, you will notice that the majority of the non-metals are actually gas at room temperature. Right, now let's carry on. Let's look at the trend of boiling point and melting point across period two. So the orange lines, or the darker orange lines, you are the boiling points. And you can see that as we go across period two, which is the row, we go lithium, beryllium, boron, and carbon. You can see that the boiling point increases as does the melting point. So boiling points and melting points follow the same trend across period two and note we're only talking now about the metals lithium, beryllium, boron. Remember carbon is kind of an interesting one. It is a non-metal but it is also a non-metal that conducts electricity so it's a little bit weird. Okay. So the melting and boiling points increase from lithium through to carbon across period two. Now let's look at the table of the gases in period two. And here you see we're going from nitrogen through to neon. We go from minus 210 degrees Celsius, that's really cold, through to minus 248.5 degrees Celsius. So nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, and neon are gases at room temperature, but their melting points are very low and they decrease in melting point from nitrogen through to neon. Right. Let's have a look at period three to see if this trend continues. Here we go. Sodium, magnesium, aluminium, and silicon. You can see that again, same type of trend, increases the metals. And then the non-metals, your phosphorus, your sulfur, chlorine, and argon, decrease. Okay, so we're starting to see a trend of increase and decrease. Let's look across at the whole of period two and three and compare. We can see the non-metals have lower boiling points and melting points than the metals. It's pretty obvious, yeah? Look how low that is compared to up here. And the carbon and silicon have such high values because they've got very strong bonds between the atoms. Remember carbon and silicon are in group four, and group four is a very special group. And later on we'll tell you a little bit more about why carbon and silicon are so special, what's, and why they're so special. Right, now let's look within the groups. Now remember groups are the rows down. So if we look at group one, we've got lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium, and you can see that what? The boiling points are decreasing. So the boiling points and also the melting points are decreasing. In this case, this is group one, we've left out hydrogen. And why? Because we know that hydrogen is special. It is a non-metal. And it's only in group one on the periodic table because it has one valence electron. So if we have to summarize, we can see here the melting points. And remember the melting point and boiling point trends follow each other. So if we look at the melting points, we kind of know what's going on with the boiling points. So here is period one, hydrogen, helium. Okay. Then we've got period two, lithium. What is that? 
beryllium boron carbon sorry went blank for a second and then suddenly that's the metals and then suddenly nitrogen oxygen fluorine and neon then we've got period three so the melting points of the non-metals are much lower than the melting points of the metals the melting points increase along the period for the metals and decrease for the non-metals and the melting points increase as we move down the periodic table so as we move down within a group they de they increase right thank you very much grade 10s i hope you've learned a lot enjoy your day